I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Are Halogens Aqueous or Solid? Okay, so let's review what a halogen is. If we look at our periodic table, or your periodic table, you'll notice that it's divided into rows and columns. The columns are also named groups, and the halogens are in group 7, so the one right before the end, the noble gases. And there are a bunch, but let's look at the first four, since those are the most common. So, first up, right here, the top right, is fluorine, and that is atomic number nine. And it is, has crazy spelling, so that U is first. Now next is 17, chlorine, goes in your pools, so this is pools, teeth. If you remember, the dentist usually gives you fluoride if you're a little kid. Next is bromine at number 35. It can sometimes go in hot tubs. Some hot tubs. And then the last that we're going to look at, 53, is iodine. If you ever gone camping, this uh, purifies water. but it also makes it taste gross. Um, all right, so these are our halogens and they each have seven valence electrons. Um, and we're looking at whether or not they're aqueous or solid. So whether or not they're aqueous really depends on what circumstance you have them in. So aqueous just means that you have a solution, first of all, so it's more than one thing. And it means that it's a solution with water. So in this case, it halogen aqueous solution would have to be a halogen in water. So, like I've already kind of talked about, um, pools, hot tub, purify water, uh, hal and your teeth is also in your mouth, which is water. Halogens definitely can be aqueous, uh, but they can also be by themselves. And the next thing we're going to look at is whether or not they're solid. So let's consider room temperature. Uh, just the temperature that's kind of on Earth most of the time for most people. It's usually defined as 25 degrees Celsius. So, fluorine at room temperature is actually a gas. It's light enough it can still float around. And so is chlorine. Um, unfun fact, uh, chlorine gas is poisonous and will definitely kill you. And people kill each other this way in World War I. Thank God that's not happening anymore. Uh, bromine is a liquid at room temperature. And fun fact, bromine is uh, one of only two elements, which is a liquid at room temperature. And it's bromine and mercury is the other one, Hg. Now iodine's the heaviest, and this one is a solid at room temperature. So you can see it starts to increase as the heavier and heavier an atom gets. Uh, the more likely it's going to be a solid room temperature. Uh, so yeah, this is some fun facts and some unfun facts about halogens um, and whether or not they're aqueous or solid. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been Are Halogens Aqueous or Solid?